Bridget, hundreds of people still here mourning, sharing loving stories, sharing hugs, sharing lay, and of course sharing tears. Now it was a beautiful vigil we saw here that started at about six o'clock in honor of the fallen officers, both Tiffany Enriquez and Kaulike Kalama. Now I want to step out of the frame and give you a look at a memorial that's being put together right now. There's some candles that are being still shared, hundreds of candles earlier. This got underway at about six o'clock and that included Officer Enriquez's three daughters, her ex-husband and her boyfriend, who were all moved to tears remembering their hero. We wake up in the morning and not, you know, getting a phone call. But I know we'll see her again. And in the meantime, she'll be looking down on us. And she'll protect, be protecting us and guiding us. And then you like, want to stop it, but then you're like, no. You're but we have each other for now. Our family here, our Hawaii community, um, the support from HBD and the community all over. We have the support and that's what's getting us um, through our, our daily activities right now. Now, of course, there were lots of tears tonight, but there were also good memories, plenty of good memories shared by Tiffany's boyfriend, JD, about her toughness as a police officer and how she was always willing to go into the line of duty with no fear. Now, also, Officer Kalama was honored tonight. His family has been more reserved through their mourning process, of course, understandably, but they did release a statement to the media today offering their gratitude to the community and, of course, their aloha to Officer Enrique's family. Reporting live from Kaimanas in Waikiki, Sam Spangler, KHON2 News. Let's send it back to the studio. Sam, thank you. And as he mentioned, the family of Officer Kaulike Kalama released a statement saying, Kaulike was loved and respected by those who knew him. He will be greatly missed. He was a loving husband, father, son, and brother, and a good friend to all who knew him. His wife and 14-year-old son are devastated by the loss. They also said, we would like to express our sincere aloha to the family of Officer Tiffany Enriquez and are grateful for their kind words and support. We grieve for them and their great loss. They are in our prayers during this painful time. A link to the family's GoFundMe page is on our website.